Hello, my name is Rob Reynolds. Welcome to Calculus Section 3.4. Today we're going to learn how to take the derivative of products and quotients. And the first thing I kind of just wanted to show you, when they're asking for the derivative of a quotient, you may think, well, let's just take the derivative of the numerator and take the derivative of the denominator. And I'm going to say, no, that's not equal. And I think I can just show that to you really quick by giving you the derivative uh, or a function as x cubed and a g at x function. So if you're going to multiply, excuse me, if you're going to divide those two functions, then you would have here's the f at x function divided by the g at x function. x cubed divided by x squared is just x, and the derivative of x is just 1. But if you were to do uh, the derivative first, well, the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, and the derivative of x squared is 2x. And then if you decide to divide later uh, to do the f of x divided by the g, so now you're doing the f prime x. You found the derivative, and you're going to divide them, the g prime. You're going to divide them. We get the derivative. And these are not, these are uh, it's equi not equivalent. So this slide, all this slide is telling you is, no, you cannot just take the, der the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. There's, there's a process. And likewise, when you're taking the derivative of a product, you can't just take the derivative of the first and multiply it by the derivative of the second. Uh, there's a rule that we need to follow, and here comes the product rule. It's take the derivative of the first, write down the second function, plus the derivative of the second function, g prime x, write down the first, or write down the first, take the derivative of the second. Um, there's all sorts of ways. There's even songs that you can sing. Um, U prime V plus V prime U. There's a little YouTube video. You can listen to it. I have recently been using um, 1, D2. Of course, they did D2, 1. The derivative, um, no. Um, I've been using, uh, for the product rule, 1, D2 plus 2, D1. And so notice that that's the same thing as this. Um, well, there it is. 1, D2 is this part of it uh, in, in yellow of the rule. And then 2, D1 is, there's the 2, the second function. And then the derivative of the first, well, there's the derivative of the first. And that's what D1 is. The derivative. So 1, D2, and then I just I flipped them because you can add. 5 plus 4 is the same thing as 4 plus 5 in any order. So it seems like most students like 1D2 plus 2D1. But if you're following my math lab or the book, I think they teach this definition, which is take the derivative of the first, write down the second, plus, mm, I'm not even sure if it's this. I think it's take the derivative of the first, write down the second, plus uh, the derivative of the second, write down the first. But it doesn't really matter. The order that you do this in doesn't matter because we've got the community property working for both addition and multiplication. So at the end of the day, take the derivative of one, write down the other, and then take the derivative of the other and write down the first. However you do it. So I like this 1D2 plus 2D1. There's also a YouTube video for a song about that if you want to see it. And then um, there's all sorts of YouTube clips, of course. If you don't like listening to my videos, you can... And I like this, I think her name is Krista King, uh, and she's real uh, funny when she, when she does it. But she teaches the uh, derivative of the first, write down the second, write down the first, take the derivative of the second. So the order differs in her as well. So in uh, Section 3.3, we were learning that you could actually simplify these things first by multiplying this out and then taking the derivative. But it says use the product rule. To use the product rule, we have to use this or the 1d2 plus 2d1. And I'm going to try this 1d2 plus 2d1, where the yellow is 1 and the green is 2. 1 being the first function. So here we go. Uh, if I follow 1d2 plus 2d1, 1 means write down the first function. The derivative of the second function is this guy, so I'm going to write that out as an exponent. So 1 half times. Uh, using the power rule here is this b to the negative one half plus zero uh, plus two is 
the second one, two thirds of e plus one, and then d one would be the derivative of this guy, which is two v. So let's try to clean this up just a little bit. And when I say clean up, I usually mean uh, add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Although in calculus, <clears throat> uh, it's kind of interesting. We we usually in algebra one they give you this problem three times x plus five, and they say simplify. And then the simplified version would be, of course, 3x plus 15. Well, in calculus, we give you the 3x plus 15, and we ask you to simplify. And what that means is factor it. And the reason why factored form is always the simplified form in calculus is because it's easier to find the roots. We can tell that the function crosses at negative 5, where this is a little bit harder to see where the zeros are at. So. When I say simplify and calculus, it means a little different than what you might uh, know as simplifying in Algebra 1 or Algebra 2. So I'm going to try to factor this um, or multiply and, and combine like terms. So let's, let's actually just multiply it together first and we'll try to factor it here. So rewrite the base and add the exponent. So this is 4 halves, take, uh, take away 1 half, this is 3 halves, plus, <clears throat> let's see, this is v to the one half and this is two halves so I get another uh, 4v to the three halves hope you saw where that came from so this times this is the this blue and then I'm ready to distribute this guy here and just come up with another 2v so I think these can be combined to be 5 uh, v to the three halves plus 2v. Oh, by the way, you could factor this. Um, so you could you could factor out. I don't know. Let's let's pull out a v, um, which literally means just divide each term by v um, when you factor this out. So of course we're gonna have a two in here, uh, and then this guy. This is really two half. So five v to the one half plus two would be the factored form. And that's arguably this, I mean, people could argue that that's not the simplified version. Um, I would probably accept this, although I really like for you to get this, but this author chose to leave it. Let's try part B. 